Hello, I'm Entryism and welcome to From the Depths. Today, we're going to be back in the build mode. And I just want to build something nice and quickly. Uh, we need to build basically a surveillance satellite type thing. And it's one of these satellite things that you always go. In the early game, you build like a balloon and then you give it a satellite dish and then you see everywhere. Uh, I'm going to do that, but I didn't want to make it cheap and nasty like I nearly always do. I want to make something that looks decent. I mean, half decent. It's me. So, from the HUD. And, uh, you know what? Why don't we start off with this? I mean, I've sunk myself to the bottom of the ocean, which is a good start. Right. Caps lock. So, we obviously want to make that wood nice and light. Needs to go up. What I'm thinking is we have a giant dish in the middle, and then we have uh, a tiny little engine, some heli blades to keep it aloft, and then maybe like uh, some engines, and that way we can move it around. It will use a little bit of fuel, but probably not that much. Um, I hope. We'll see. Right, so this should be the heli blade in the middle. Which means, no, no, the heli blades don't go in the middle because we have the satellite dish there. Oh, we could have the satellite dish around the heli blade. That would work. Okay. Let us. Oh, we could put the satellite dish inside the heli blade, like directly below one or the other. That'd work too. You know what? Let's try that. So let's have a. Put an engine in first. Mm. Really quick, let's do the antenna because I know where I want to put that. I could use the normal blimp style thing, but honestly, I fancied a bit of a change. Right, so. That's our dish. Then we're going to have to have an engine, because if we're having heli blades, we're going to need an engine to be able to keep it up. Carburetor. Etta, etta. A, A, A. How many times have I made that joke? The answer is, of course, too many times. Too many times indeed. Uh, we need uh, a uh, radiator. Really should just prefab this, because I know it's just a 900 uh, energy engine. That works, that works, and that works. Okay, let me set up a prefab. Uh, prefab. You are going to be 800. Does it say what the unit of power is? It just, is it watts or is it horsepower? I'm gonna assume it's horsepower. Engine three by three by three. And... Boop. Right, wood block. Uh, maybe not a wood block, maybe a slope. We'll also need to find someone to put fuel as well. Um, we won't need that much fuel, but bear in mind that when we do move it round, it will be moving round under its own, uh, fuel power. Or I could just put a giant propeller on the back. You know, putting giant propellers on it might not be a bad idea. Ah, but it'll need fuel to keep itself aloft. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't use fuel when it gets to its height, because I think it just goes right. You can get this height, fine. It doesn't realize that it needs fuel consistently to maintain the altitude. But to be able to move it, it does. Okay, altitude is climbing. 150. 160. 170. Okay. All right, well, as that happens... I would like block... Wood. And yes, this is all we really need, but I'm going to make it fancy. Because I think that's the name of the game today. Make it fancy. 
And there we go. We've got a pretty sizable dish. I think for the sake of, you know, making the physics look a little bit better, I will connect it to the middle. It's got enough fuel to go for a very long time. In fact, I might even decrease the amount of fuel it's got. Now, what's our altitude? Dropping. Okay, well, we need to uh, up this speed. Let's go and put it at two. Okay, what about three? Actually, let's just put a 30 and then decrease the drive fraction. Motor drive. Yeah, if I turn the motor drive off, it does start to fall. So let's put motor drive at 1. That was still gaining altitude. Right. And the next step is to equip it with thrusters so they can move around the map. Now, these thrusters are never to be fired actually in the game because it doesn't have actually any way to maneuver. It's a way to go forwards. It doesn't have a way to actually uh, make itself turn or even strafe. So I would like a jet engine. They look pretty now. Those one don't. Well, they look sort of pretty. Okay, so it's got a speed of 22. I'm using about half the power in the engine. Which kind of wants me to think about increasing the power by having more engines, even though I got rid of the last two. Okay. I think this works quite nicely. It's going to drain fuel, but when we pull it out of play, it won't. It's got a very large area in which it can scan. If we go to build mode, can't tell scanning, which is annoying. But if we tell it to move, um, have you just forgotten how to turn? I think it's forgotten how to turn. This is a good sign. He just doesn't want to turn. Why do you not want to turn? Could we like pull it up play and then put it back into play? Why are you firing from both rotational thrusters? You do realize that these are. Okay. Okay, this does look like it's turning. Thank God there is one fleet mode where it turns. Wow, and it's just going to like zigzag back and forwards because it doesn't have enough tolerance. Oh dear. Well, we're traveling around at 420 meters uh, above sea level. We've got a giant dish. And our speed is uh, relatively good. I'm going to call it a win, even if it is a bit weird. Save vehicle. And you are the heli. Spy. Save the heli spy as heli spy. I like it. Okay. Let's go to the campaign and fire it up. Um, 
Ah, hello there. Right. So, uh, I've let time progress a little bit since the end of our last episode. Which means we actually have enough resources to be able to build some things. Which is good, because that's exactly what we want to do. We want to build another frigate. Why are you not loaded, frigate? There we go. So for start, I would like to build, uh, that's the wrong one, a, another frigate. A Ford. Oh, it's just off. Okay. I can build one of these. Cost me 10,000 metal. I went a little bit overboard. But only just. Thank you for helping out, frigate. That's very nice of you. Why are you trying to... Don't. Don't do that. We need a control to just tell it to turn its engines off. Um, control. Automate control block. Engine, engine, engine. Engine, 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 engine. Propulsion component. Set drive traction. Zero. There we go. That makes me feel much better. Um, when altitude is less than... 400. Set that to that. And then when altitude is greater than... 410. Drive fraction... There we go. Why are you upside down? I have no idea. Hmm, dry fraction also makes the heli blades. Ugh. Right. Uh, delay. One. And then... With a range of only three... Drive, um, activate every... Activate every, every... 0.5 seconds, I would like you to set... Propulsion to Why are you not working? That wasn't the issue. The issue was this is only works on spawning. Uh, okay, what if I just say every When you're not under power, you list horribly because of the stuff in the front. It's an issue. Right. Make you drive power higher. How high can you get? Why are you not... Okay, yeah, I set it back to one, don't I? That's why. Okay. Fair enough. Right, what altitude are we at now? Still climbing? Save. And we should probably take a picture. There 
There we go. Now it's got a picture. Right. You're good. But I believe your altitude isn't high enough. So let's get you to three. Because I need your engines to turn on. So it can remember how fast you are and thus give you a ridiculous turn of speed. Three, two, one. Oh, that was a bit early. There we go. Bye bye. We should probably go have a look at that. Whee! There we go. There's a lovely uh, thumbnail for today. Now, we should probably actually bring that down. Uh, I would like you in fleet move mode, I guess. What, part of, what fleet are you part of? Heli Spite, you're part of your own fleet. Good. But now, oh my god, look at the... Okay, we can see everywhere. That was a good call. I like it. I forget, why are you moving? You shouldn't be moving. Okay, in the meantime, let us load another frigate. You fly weirdly high in the air, don't you? Okay, and I would like you to be pulled out of play. There is no reason to have you in play. Why are you passing through my... Bad frigate. Oh, it's so pretty. I do like its little white prow made of metal to rent it from ramming things and destroying itself. That said, it still rams the land, so... Anyway, this is going to be... Force name. The HMS Rowan Tree. So the uh, the entire class is now the Rowan Tree class. Um, HMS Rowan Tree. I mean, I could use the abbreviations, and I was going to think about changing the abbreviations from the NATO to just be like FR for frigate. Um, and this is a Rowan Tree class, so FR Row. So it's frigate Rowan Tree. Which would make this the force name FR Row uh, Super Shrek. And this would be force name. It's a helicopter, so HE and then RI because it is the RIV. The RIV class spy helicopter. All right. So what we're going to try and do? Yeah, we are going to try and hit up this resource point because I would like some resources. And I would like them very much. So let's group these fleets. Fleet name: the FR Own Tree. That's fine. The Rhone Tree is the flagship of the fleet. Question is, how long until Super Shrek's going to be completed? Probably a little while. It's on 77%. What are we currently missing? Wood. We need more natural. It's nice to be missing natural fonts and not uh, metal. Well, that said, our metal is now diving. Oops. Do we have our scrap smelters on? No, they are off. And we are about to be attacked. Uh, they are moving at speed 14. They must be an air force. What are you? Atlas. 
Atlas, two, wow, okay. Well, we're gonna be attacked by two Atlases. I'm honestly not very scared of Atlases. Uh, what I might do is I might take them on with our frigates. Depending on when they get to us. The advantage of taking them on the home ground is we can just repair straight away. But uh, I believe we'll be taking them on with the frigates. We might even take them on at the same time as we take this eight on here. And then we're just gonna power straight in here, take these guys out, not engage that yet. And then we'll try and grab this uh, resource point for ourselves. This resource point is mainly metal. 25 metal, in fact. This is a metal resource point. I am happy about that. I could go with some metal right now. So we'll crack that. Then we'll crack that. So battle, battle, battle. Depending on if we can get this battle. It is a, there's a big cram cannon over there. But we should be okay for we keep moving. But anyway, that's been it for this episode. Mostly a, uh, mostly a building episode. But I did decide to throw in a little bit of, uh, you know, actually getting the craft in to our map at the end there. Hopefully, we'll be able to take the enemy out next time. But I believe that that'll be next episode. So if you've enjoyed, please like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. And until next time, when we take a bit of a bit of a jaunt into enemy territory, and see what we can do against these guys with our fancy new frigates. I, I do like them. Let's let's spawn everyone in, right? It's the end of the episode. Let's not spawn you in. You'll use fuel. I'm sorry. The Riv is uh, really important, but it is going to be mostly uh, mostly in the background. I want to move you relative to each other. Can I move you to... Fleet move mode. There we go. Um, let's just pull all to get them into position. Right, and then go to here. Right, there we go. I like it. Our little force is becoming uh, a little bit more intimidating. Slowly, slowly we're getting there. You know, I might wait until the Atlases get here and just off camera, just make this look a little bit prettier. Because although it's not going to be featuring very much, I do think that we could at least, you know, do a little bit to make it look better. We could even paint it in the least in colors, although I can't really be asked to do that one. Anyway, I've been at you enjoyed. You know what to do. Until next time, stay shiny.